Hey goddesses, Ingrid Anna here. I thought I'd quickly say hello. I'm about to, uh, I'm just all sweaty. I've just gone for a walk, bought some groceries for dinner because I basically don't do much cooking these days. If you know anyone in Brisbane who does cooking, then let me know. <laughs> so I'm about to speak to a client, but I thought I would talk to you about Getting to a level and a stage in your life when it's just like, oh my god, fuck this shit for a bad joke. It was at that point when I had just had enough that I really began to change my life because I realized that no one else was going to do it for me. No one was going to save me. No knight in shining armor was going to come and rescue me. My husband couldn't do it for me. My parents couldn't do it for me. I was over waiting. I was over the grind. I was over feeling like shit. I was just over it. I was over not making enough money. I was over not attracting um, the right clients and overall just over waiting to live my life to live my life awake fully awake fully mobilized fully in my power I was just done with the struggle and it was at that point that I began to make the changes hey whoever that is I'm not too sure you might want to say hello but hi I was just so over it I was oh hey Lily it's you gorgeous I was just so over the grind I was so over having panic attacks. I was so over questioning myself. I was so over having drama with my parents. Um, I was just so over playing rescuer to all my friends. I was just over it. And I got to that point. And you know, I think sometimes people think that I haven't had struggle or that I find it so easy. No, I just hit rock bottom and realized after years of repetitive cycles of not really being self-responsible and not really owning my power and doing the work that I needed to do to rise up, that there was no one else that was going to do it except for myself. And it was from being in, in a very dark uh, place and from you know, having chronic disease or and struggling in my business and being chronically tired with a new baby that I really was like, okay, I need to take everything that I've learned thus far, working in advertising, working in media, working as a freelance journalist, working for a current affair, all the different things that I've done in my life, um, you know, running my own clothing line in New York City. And I just was like, you know what? Despite my failures, despite my struggles, despite my so seemingly soul crisis here, I'm going to use this to really shift and change my life and take all that experience and start to channel it into really serving. And that was the moment that everything began to change when I said, fuck this shit. And sometimes I still say it every other week. Like if something's not really working for me or something's not in flow, I'm like, oh my God, I've got to change this. And I think the biggest shift that I've been able to make was I realize that my life is in my own hands. If I don't like something, I know it's up to me to shift it. No one can do it. It's not anyone else's fault. No one's doing anything to me. Um, your husband isn't holding you back. Your girlfriends aren't holding you back. Your past isn't holding you back. Um, any abuse that you've had actually isn't holding you back. It's your, the only thing that can hold you back is you or your inability to take that step forward and make that decision. And usually when your back up is against the wall and you've just had enough of this shit, that's when you soar. That is when you fly. It's not when you're just feeling great and everything's hunky-dory and everything's just blissful that you make the changes. It's usually when you've just had enough. You know, you've had enough of playing small. Yeah, I love the title. Hey, Amanda. I was just saying, you know, it wasn't when um, everything was just blissful. I had to hit rock bottom. I had to decide and make a conscious choice and realize that no one was going to rescue me except myself. And the thing is that people, I think, tend to think that taking that step is a scary thing. And I was thinking about it last night with a potential new client. And, I, and she actually decided that she wasn't ready. I did this session on her and I just felt like, I just told her, hop in the car and leave. Go and have a good time. I'm not going to even sell you. Come back and let's chat when you come back. And she came back and she said something to me like, oh, I think it's not the right time. It's not the right time. And I'm like, you know, babe, I don't need your $4,000, but I'm going to lay it on the line. I really don't need your $4,000. <laughs> 
Um, what is happening here? Like, unless there's something chemical or medical going on that I don't know about, why are you waiting? Why, what is this thing about waiting for the right time until you feel perfect? I hardly ever feel perfect. I'm either sleep deprived because of my daughter or I'm busy with clients or I, the last few days I've had a head cold. But you know what? I'm living my life. I'm committed. I do the work and I show up and that is how I healed and changed my life. Not waiting, waiting for the perfect time. Waiting for your girlfriends to give you validation, um, to show I'm waiting for someone like your husband or your boyfriend or your lover or your children waiting 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 before life then passes you by the scariest thing is being it's not even like um it's you not or me I've been there it's not living our fullest self that's the scary shit and 90 something percent of people are there they are not embodying or living their light and what I've learned here is when I'm not living my light, especially when you have made a conscious decision to expand, you will be knocked down. You will, <laughs> you will be so challenged. So when I kind of felt a bit sick the other day, it's like I, I was just praying about it and thinking about it. And it was like a download. It was like a release. And the release and the message that I got was we all have to live in our light right now. And that requires... Um, it's a very deep, you know, fast frequency. The vibration is very fast. So everything that actually isn't in alignment with living at that, at, in that light will come to the surface to be released. So don't fear it. Embrace it and learn how to cultivate and hold your presence and your energy to allow yourself to move through it. It's, nothing is wrong. You're not having a breakdown. What's happening is everything that needs to be released will come to the surface and be released. Um, because the frequency is so high, like, does it make sense? You will not manifest, you will not attract the business, the relationships that you want to attract carrying that baggage. It's, it's impossible. It goes against the very foundational truth about quantum physics, the law. You cannot manifest it unless you release. So, if you're going through that right now, I just want to send you lashings of love. Yeah, the, yes, the last few days. There's a lot um, happening here at the moment. Um, consciously, I think women, um, there's just so much. We are tired of the bullshit. We're tired of our own bullshit. Most of it, we've made an unconscious choice, unfortunately, from very, um, usually in the womb, actually, but then early childhood, and we've taken on things that just really beliefs, habits, ways of relating, perceptions, ideas about what it is to be a woman, what it is to be successful. And it's a burden. It's all, I wrote this statement, like all burdens um, and obligations need to be cast out now with ease and grace. So one prayer, and I'm going to have to go because I've got a client, is I just say, um, dear creatable, that is, please release all burdens, obligations, resentments, contracts, commitments from my past, from the present and into the future right now. Please help me re to release all cords so that I can reclaim my true power in this very moment. Because sometimes there's been commitments and contracts and obligations that we've unwittingly made. Sometimes that we've taken them on if you believe this in the very fiber and the DNA of being in our mother's womb. And amen to that, right, Mia? So for me, I know that I'm up leveling majorly again. Um, and there's lots of other stuff that I want to talk to you about, but I'll, I'll share that more in the coming um, few weeks. I'm being really mindful sometimes also about how much energy I put out because I'm about to start teaching my high-end empire five-week intensive and um, there's a lot of energy to hold there in a beautiful way. And I'm just um, working on all my content and doing these beautiful meditations and um, healings and clearings. And it has to come from a place of fullness, not from a manic like launch energy so I'm kind of just really surrendering at the moment and allowing whatever happens with that launch to just be I've kind of done my work and now it's just about receiving and really um, cultivating my energy so I can bring myself from a place of overflow um, and I'm just yeah just allowing just having fun and um, I think even with that whole um, way of living and working in my world there's a shift happening with that like within just 
um, I'm fierce at the moment, but there's also this other level of new gentleness that's coming in because I've cultivated a deep sense of trust, which has taken me a long time to cultivate. It didn't just come instantaneously. But I will say that it's a very beautiful, um, grounded feeling. Um, so I'm learning to be a lot more grounded and we have to build our businesses from a place of deep foundation. So if you are releasing right now, which I'm sure you are, because I think we're all being called to do that. And I know that everyone on this um, live stream right now is um, being called to play a bigger game at the moment. And you've made that decision. So when you make a decision, all the stuff comes up. It just has to. So you're doing brilliantly. You're amazing. You're incredible. Um, I am sending you lots of love and I better go and do some work for this client. <laughs> okay, guys, have a beautiful day. Blessings.